Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. So a while ago I made a video that was one tip for every civilization in Age of Empires 2 and I got a lot of positive feedback and someone suggested that I make a video that was one tip against every civilization and so I'm going to be going through each civilization including the new ones from the DLC and giving you guys one good tip to play off of one weakness that they may have or strength that they may have that you need to watch out for to help you guys win against those civilizations. And like I said, it's one tip for every civilization so there's something in here for absolutely everyone as you guys grind the rank ladder and play against all kinds of civs and strategies and huang. Let's hop into it and see what we have with the Aztecs right from the top. Alright, so for the Aztecs, the big tip against them is to watch out for their Castle Age Eagle spam. It's by far their best tool. They go Eagles, Mangonels, and Monks, and the best defense is to really commit to army in Castle Age. You have long swords to counter Eagles, or Knights and Crossbow Mix that does really well against Eagle Monk. Next up we've got the Bengali and this is a new civilization and my best tip against them is to really pressure them early because if you let them get away with that two villagers early in feudal age or as they age up they're going to get away with a lot of advantage and you're not going to be able to really keep up so try to pressure the civilization as early as possible it's going to be your best chances to win. Next up, we've got the Berbers. Guys, the Berbers is a little bit of a two-trick sieve. They have strong camel archers as an option, and they have their strong stable as their second option. Both of them just as viable depending on the situation. My best advice is to make use of how predictable they tend to be and try to punish them as such, depending on what your sieve is strong against and with. Next up, we've got the Bohemians. My best tip against the Bohemians is to really watch out for their strong economy. They get a ton of economy bonuses that can really snowball out of control in the mid game. So my best advice against the Bohemians is to really get a counter to those chemistry crossbows in Castle Age and keep the pressure high so they're not able to get a strong boom into that strong late game composition. But once again, just watch out for those chemistry crossbows. Make sure you have a counter. That's gonna be their best unit in Castle Age. Oh, next up we've got the Britons. A really hard sip for a lot of players to deal with, guys. My tip is gonna be very simple and very obvious. Make sure you're using elite skirms and use the split formation to split away from their shot as you're closing the distance with your elite skirmishers to then get in close and then fire with your skirmishers. Don't shoot from far with the skirmishers. You're not gonna hit and you're gonna get kited. Walk close, tank a couple hits, split formation, get in close, and then hit their plus one range crossbows. You're gonna destroy Britons, I promise. All right, next up we've got the Bulgarians. As someone who is a really big fan of the Bulgarians, I can tell you their biggest weakness is the fact that they completely die to cav archers. If your sieve is even remotely good with cav archers, highly recommend you go for it. Their best response is skirmisher and defense or their own cav archers, which is really not very good. Sieves like Mongols, Huns dominate the sieve. Next up we've got the Burgundians and this civilization is actually really strong. My best advice against this civilization is to keep the pace as high as possible going into the Imperial Age to not give them time to set up a Flemish Revolution. I don't know why that tech is still in the game but it is so we have to play around it. So don't let them get a full Flemish Revolution on you without you even knowing what to do. So make sure you're trying to actively attack them in Imperial Age and keeping them busy so they can't just do that out of nowhere. Next up, we've got the Burmese. Now, the Burmese is actually super susceptible to archers. My biggest advice is to play with crossbow and castle age. And even if they go into elite skirmisher, don't worry. Just double down on your crossbows and just go with ballistic thumb ring because they don't have that second armor upgrade. And your crossbows will be able to beat the skirmishers if you have even or slightly above numbers. Make sure you're using the faster attack speed of the crossbows to hit and run effectively. Next up, we've got the Byzantines. I have a really secret tip that I think a lot of people don't know about it, but basically Byzantine hard dies to double gold comps in Castle Age. Knights and crossbow mix is insane to deal with Byzantines. I recommend you open either scouts or archers and then switch to the other one in Feudal Age. And then once you get to Castle Age, really double down on all in two stable knights with big ball of archers that you massed in Feudal Age and all in them with crossbow and knights and don't get the archer armor. You don't need it. Invest into the knights at that point. Next up, we've got the Celts. Now, Celts is a really strong siege civilization, of course. My biggest advice against the Celts is to not let them get that siege workshop forward on you. I play a lot of games against Wong, and the only times I lose is when I can't stop the siege workshop from coming up, and he just gets that crazy fast tempo on me with the siege workshops. Of course, you guys aren't probably gonna be playing against Wong, but the same concept is similar versus a lot of Celt players. They love that forward siege, so make sure you're scouting with your scouts or archers to make sure you're preventing them from getting that siege shot forward. If they get it at their base, it's buying you time, and it's not as hard to defend. Next up is the Chinese. I hate to recommend this, but the Chinese is a really strong sieve, so I feel it's justified. I recommend you lane the Chinese. Send your scout as fast as possible to the enemy base and try to snipe their sheep. And if you know how to lure a boar, try to steal their boar with your scout. It really is a bit cheesy, but it's the best way to counter their super strong start. After that, you can try to pressure them early in Feudal Age, even if you're not successful with the lane, that's definitely their earliest weak point. After that, they're insane. 
Next up, we've got the cumins. My best advice against the cumins is to make sure you're scouting. It's the best friend against cumins because they have the deadly 2TC boom that they can do in Feudal Age, which is really easy to punish if you see it coming. But if you get caught off guard, you're almost guaranteed to lose that game. So scout to see what they're doing. Aggression, fast castle, or 2TC boom. That's your main options. Dravidians, this is a new civilization that thrives with men at arms and skirmishers or men at arms and archers in general. Highly recommend that you're going for archer opening against Dravidians and then switching to a stable really quickly so that your archers deal with the men at arms that come in and your, your scouts can deal with the skirmishers. You can also mix in your own skirmishers and if you have skirms up fast enough, you can still match to their skirmishers as well. Just make sure you're not dying to the men at arms because it's their best opening by far. Next up, we've got the Ethiopians. Now, Ethiopians are known for their archer aggression. So my best recommendation against the Ethiopians is to really just make use of elite skirmisher, similar to the Britons kind of a tip. And the biggest thing with Ethiopians is that they do have that Shotel warrior transition that the Britons don't really have an option like that. So make sure if you are committing to skirmisher, make sure you have an option planned for the Shotel warrior when it does come out, because that unit absolutely shreds skirmisher. Next up is the Franks, a tip that's terrorizing low elo guys. Very simple tip against the Franks, don't open scouts against them and wall earlier than usual. If you wall against the Frank player, most of them will probably go scouts and it's pretty predictable as well. If they go for something else, it's really not the strongest opening for Franks, so simply just wall and play defensive against them. Once you get to that mid and late game, Franks are not as powerful as Civ as they are in that early game. So if you don't take damage early, it's going to be a lot more manageable to beat them in the mid and late game. Play safe early, win late. Next up is the Goths, another Civ that terrorizes lower elo players and new players in general. The biggest tip against Goths guys is that they're mainly a one trick pony. They have a few other options, but their main option is infantry. Throughout the entire game, make sure you're planning out a way to stop husk girls and champion spam. A lot of options such as unique units, hand cannons that come to mind, or even champions of your own and then mix it in with some Arbalest for some of those archer civs. It works really well against Goths. Just make sure you have something to counter infantry and plan ahead. Next up is the Gurjaras. Now the Gurjaras is a really interesting new civilization and my biggest tip against them is to do a pre-mill rush and or a men at arm rush to try to pressure their mill because if you can kill their mill or force them off the berries early, you really disrupt that early game start that they have that they garrison their sheep into the mill. So just try to disrupt that and that's your best bet. Next up is the Hindustanis, the new Indians. This civ is pretty cracked right now, but my biggest tip against them is to make use of the fact that they don't have any knights and they lost the pierce armor on the camels. So crossbow opening against them, gonna be a pretty solid choice. However, of course they are a strong civilization. So if you're having trouble against them, I definitely know why, but definitely recommend you go with archers. Their unique units in Castle Age takes a while to get going. So crossbow opening is actually a really good window to do damage to the civilization and catch them off guard. Next up is the Huns. Now my biggest tip with the Huns, or against the Huns rather, is to try to make use of the fact that they don't have houses to wall. This means that they're gonna be playing more open than usual or forced to invest a lot into palisade walls. My biggest advice is to try to play against them with some sort of aggressive strategy. Doesn't matter what it is, just something that gets units out on the field and takes advantage of the fact that they're not walled while you may or may not be walled at home as well. Try to be walled and you'll have a nice advantage there. Next up is the Incas. Now the Incas are a really interesting mesosiv and they're one of the more fair ones, but they have a really wide tech tree and a lot of options. My biggest advice against the Incas is to simply play a solid game. They're really not the fastest civilization and they're really not the strongest civilization. They're more of a well-balanced one. So as long as you play a solid game, your civ will have bonuses to where you'll get a good tempo advantage over the Inca player. And as long as you're making sure you're not getting countered by all of his units, you're gonna be in a good position. It sounds like a very vague tip, but this is truly the best way to counter a civ that's very well-rounded like Incas. Scout ahead and try to play solid. Make sure you're not getting countered by his units and strategy. Should be good. Watch out for those eagles. Next up is the Italians. My best advice against the Italians is to make sure you're not dying to Genoese Expo in the late game and plan ahead by making sure you have an answer to that unit in particular because I know a lot of civilization these days rely on cavalry and Italians completely shred cavalry if they get to that unit. However, it's very hard to get to that unit in general, but make sure by the time it gets to Imperial Age that you don't just go cavalry straight into them going Genoese crossbow, you're gonna lose the game. All right, Japanese, they have really strong early infantry rushes, notorious men at arm rush. Make sure you're going for some early walls around your eco areas, so around your wood, your berries, and your gold, because that's the best way to defend against men at arms from the Japanese. Full walling that early is not a good idea. They can easily break it with their men at arms and a couple archers behind. So just small walls around your resources and try to get to some range units as fast as possible. I recommend not going scouts with Japanese. Do men at arms if you have to, if you want to trade off their men at arms, or go straight to range units. Don't do scouts, it's really risky. 
Next up is the Khmer. My biggest advice against Khmer is actually just to open scout. It's that simple. Most Khmer players will skip the barracks to make use of their civ bonus and therefore won't have access to spears. Go for scouts and at least force them to garrison their villages into houses and cause that idle time. And if they're kind of caught slipping and being a little sloppy, you might kill the villa too. Next up is the Koreans. Now the Koreans actually have a really weak late game. It sounds really strong on paper, but on most open maps, I'm talking open maps like Arabia and Runestones, their late game is very uh, easy to counter. The one thing that they have is that one death ball with like wagons, siege onagers, keeps pushing forward, halb, skirms, that kind of stuff, bombard cannons, all in one area. Try to keep the game open, raid with hussars on the side, mix in a lot of skirms. They have really weak late game units in general, and their only strong point is like wagons and skirmishers, like fully upgraded strong units, and then that death ball. So watch out for it, and it should be pretty good in late game against that Civ. Lithuanians, the next Civ in line, and I highly recommend against the Lithuanians that you can test the relics at all means necessary. It sounds really obvious, but the amount of times I get free four relics with Lithuanians against lower ranked players is insane. The high ranked players will always try to contest them and really make me work for it, to the point where I can just lose before I get access to any of the relics in general. Next up is the Magyars, a late game powerhouse, but has some trouble getting there safely. Really strong set at lower elos, so my best recommendation against Magyars is to somehow find a way to trade off units against them and make sure they don't get to the late game. Magyars has two strong points, early game with the free upgrades from the blacksmith forging and the cheap scouts, and then late game with the insane techs like the heavy cav archer with recurve bow and the Magyar Hussar. Kill them in the mid game and force them to trade a lot there and you'll find that the Civ struggles to get going. Next up is the Malay. Best tip against the Malay is really simple. Attack them and don't let them get a chance, similar to the Bengalis, to make use of their insane eco bonus that lets them get ahead in villagers, which is aging up faster. Pressure the Malay, they're very weak at their age ups, and you're often able to get a nice advantage against them early if you pressure properly. Next up is the Malians. Now the Malians recently lost some power, but got a little bit of extra gold in late game due to that bonus that they got. My best advice against the Malians is that their late game is somewhat awkward. They don't have Bracer and they don't really have the best options to go for in general. So if you just play Arbless opening, cause that does really fine against champions. Don't think the champions completely dominate Arbless. Arbless are really solid. Arbless and Hisar is fantastic against Malians. The Arbless covers pretty much all of their cavalry options and Hisar is a really good meat shield against the champion and anything else they can have. Their skirmishers suck and their Arbless is really bad as well. Just watch out for that early cast stage push with that fast ballistics. That's the dangerous point for Malians. Their late game is much weaker than most civs. Next up is the Mayans. The biggest thing to watch out against the Mayans, in my opinion, is their double gold unit comp in Imperial Age. Eagle Warrior plus Plumes, sometimes plus Siege Ram or Trebs, is insanely hard to stop. Make sure that you're pressuring Mayans in such a way that they have to pick between the Plume or the Eagle. And watch out, if they go for one, that they don't just transition to the other and surprise you with both of those units. A lot of lower elo Mayan players don't know about that. So if you're a Mayan player, do that. And if you're not a Mayan player and you're playing against them, watch out for that. Next up is the Mongols. Now the Mongols' best strength is the Mangadai. My best advice against the Mongols is to watch out that they don't get the Mangadai in early Castle Age. You can do this by scouting their stone and making sure that they're not getting a sneaky mining camp on it. If they're fully walled and you expect them to go Mangadai, make sure you at least have or are thinking of a counter because it's a really oppressive unit once it gets going. So really just watch out for that. Next up, we have the Persians. My best advice against the Persians is to try to play a solid game against them. The Persian TC bonus is only good in two scenarios, if they're pure booming or if they're one TC all in pushing you. That's the best way to use Persian TC bonus. If they're using it while three TC booming while trying to like fight you with army, the game gets way too hectic and they'll find themselves investing way more onto villagers or just not being able to sustain three Persian TCs. That's the best way to nullify that bonus. So keep a solid game against them, keep pressuring them, but don't, don't go too ham and you know don't let them one TC push you. Next up, we've got the Poles. Poles are really dangerous if you let them set up the full works. Heavy pressure in Feudal Age prevents them from getting a clean economy setup and really stops them from getting that mid game with two full works setups and mining a ton of stone. So really heavily pressure Poles in Feudal Age, that's your best chance to win. Also another quick tip against the Poles, they don't have the last armor on their cab. Knights in Castle Age are really strong if they get the tech, but once they get the Imperial Age, their cavalry are really weak against Arbalest. Make sure to make Arbalest against Poles and you'll be pretty fine against their cab. Next up is the Portuguese. Portuguese organ guns are super deadly. If they get there, it's sometimes really hard to beat them. And I recommend going either crossbows early, or if they get a lot of organ guns, I recommend just going redemption monks. Especially once you get the Imperial Age, if you get the plus three range on the monks, you just outrange them and you can convert all of them. And it's super unfair for the Portuguese player to play against. So you're gonna be netting some free wins against those units. 
Next up is the Saracens. Now the Saracens best strength by far in the early game is their market. Make sure you're scouting the Saracen player and noticing when they make a market because generally speaking they could actually sell stone and click up to the castle quite quickly. The way to prevent this is to make sure that you know what's happening. If you know what's happening you're going to make sure to watch that timing so that minute faster they get up to castle doesn't hurt you as much. If you don't see it coming you can get absolutely rolled. Make sure you understand how much they're abusing the market and if you're having trouble with this ask questions around and I'm sure you get some answers. Next up, we've got the Sicilians. I hate to recommend this, but I recommend you Tower Sicilians. Dungeons are incredibly terrible against towers in early game, and they're so expensive. They can't afford to make too many of them. Tower rush them and force them to move around. It's so annoying to play as a Sicilian, and you're gonna catch them off guard with that quite a lot. All right, next up is the Slavs. And my best tip against the Slavs is to really be careful of their all-in castleage. They have really strong siege and knight pushes because they have a great economy and cheaper siege. So if you just watch out for that, I think you'll be in a good position. The late game is strong, but they don't have any good ranged unit options. So make sure you have a counter to their melee units and be careful of the boyar. You'll be really getting a Slav mid and late game. Next up is the Spanish. Similar to Mongols, Spanish have really one strength that's better than everything else they can do, which is the unique unit, the Conquistador. My best advice is to go skirms against Conquistador, you absolutely shred them. If you don't want to go skirms, Cavarchers are a decent option, as well as crossbow opening into Cavarchers or crossbow opening into Ballistics and Arbalest. Those are really good options to counter the Conquistador. Don't rely on your siege, they eat that. Next up, we've got the Tatars. So the biggest thing about the Tatars is the fact that they have the thumb ring for free in Castleage. Incredibly crazy power spike. My best advice to play against that is to simply watch out for the big ball of crossbows that gets thumb ring right away in Castleage and prevent them from going CA or at least have a counter to them going CA because that free thumb ring CA will absolutely shred your knights. So if you want to go knights, you put pressure. If you want to go skirms, you're able to sit back at ballistics and pick off those cabbages quite comfortably. Just make sure you're not taking any stupid fights right when they hit Castleage where they get thumb ring for free and you don't have it. All right, next up we have the Teutons. Now the Teutons are a pretty underrated civilization, but my best advice against them is similar to another advice I gave for playing against the Bulgarians, play CA against them. Cavalchers absolutely destroy Teutons at all stages of the game. In Castle they don't have husbandry on their knights to chase you down. In Imperial Age, they don't have husbandry on their cavalry to chase you down, and they don't have bracer. Heavy Cavalchers, even if your sieve isn't the best with them, is gonna absolutely destroy Teutons. Even Cavalchers in Castle Age do just fine as well. Next up, we've got the Turks. Now, my best advice against the Turks is to really double down on one unit because they don't have any good trash units. So if you just double down on crossbow, you're going to be very easily dominating what they have in store for you. Now, they do have a couple answers to some of your units. If you go a lot of knights, they have Janissary. If you go a lot of crossbow, they have their light cap. Make sure you have an answer to these units and then just double down. If you go archers, make sure you mix in a few spears so the light cap can't kill you. And if you go knights, you can easily just go elite skirmisher and dominate their Janissaries. All right, next up is the Vietnamese. Now the biggest thing about the Vietnamese is, is that they actually see your town center from the start of the game. So absolutely be aware that they don't lame you in the early game. Because a lot of cheeky Vietnamese players will try to pull this off against you. So make sure you're scouting fast and exploring with your sheep early or tucking your sheep in if you don't want them to take the sheep. But make sure you're finding your boars fast, pulling them in and preventing yourself from getting lamed. Last but not least, we have the Vikings. Vikings have one big weakness and that's the late game. They're incredibly strong in all parts of the game, except that super late game where they have very limited tech and very poor siege. Only option that's really good is Siege Ram. Make sure you're trying to stall against Vikings as much as possible and make sure you have a winning competition against them in the Imperial Age. You have a lot of success against them there. It's hard to play against them in other stages, but try your best and stall the late game. That's gonna do it for all the civilizations in Age of Empires 2. That's one quick tip to help you guys play against them. If you have any other ideas that you thought of that I didn't, leave them in the comments below and let other people know what they can do against specific civilizations that can help us all improve as players and play against all those different styles that you'll find on the rank ladder once again. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any feedback, let me know. I listen to all your advice and feedback, so I'm really interested and curious to see what you guys have in store for me and motivated to make more videos like these. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.